Hello and welcome to the SRX JWeb Access Learning Byte. I'm Gordon Mosley with the Education Services Department at Juniper Networks. Let's get started. After successfully completing this Learning Byte, you will be able to enable JWeb Access to an SRX platform. Many administrators like to use a GUI interface to administer and monitor and maintain a security platform such as an SRX firewall. The SRX firewall includes a web-based interface called JWeb. It's included in the operating system that's installed on your SRX platform, but it must be enabled through configuration. Under the Edit System Services branch, where Secure Shell or Telnet or other administrative access is enabled on a platform, there's a web management option, and this is how we enable the JWeb platform to be used. You can connect using HTTP or more probably you'll use HTTPS because you would like your sessions to be encrypted and authenticated. And so HTTPS requires a digital certificate be loaded onto the platform. So if you don't have a public key infrastructure where you can generate your own SSL keys to then load onto the platform, the SRX platform can generate its own system generated certificate that can be used to provide HTTPS access to the platform. And so once this is enabled and this configuration has been committed, you can as an administrator open up a web browser, browse to the IP address of your SRX platform and provide the username and password that you use to normally administer the platform. There are no special credentials necessary to log in using JWeb. You use the same credentials you use to connect through the console port or through a secure shell session, for example. So I'm going to connect to um, an SRX platform. I want to show you the enablement and some of the configuration options available for the JWeb interface. And then I'll open up a web browser and we'll, we'll log in using JWeb and I'll show you a little bit of the interface. Okay, this is the I have secure shelled into an SRX platform. It's actually a virtual SRX platform, the, the virtual machine version of an SRX. And to enable uh, management access, we go under the Edit System Services branch. And I, I already have some management services enabled. I have you know, secure shell enabled and Telnet. And, and I also have JWeb already enabled. Now, you would say set web management. And, and there are options. You, you can enable HTTP or HTTPS access. And you'll again, you'll probably use HTTPS. There are some session options. If you want to limit the number of sessions that can concur concurrently be active on a platform using the JWeb interface, you can set some idle timeouts uh, for the interface as well. I'm going to go under the HTTPS section here and, and show you some of the options. You can specify a particular interface that you would like administrators to, you require administrators to browse to. Um, you can specify a custom port that the application listens on. And you can also, if you have a public key infrastructure in your environment where you can generate your own SSL keys or you're using external certificate authorities like a VeriSign or an Entrust, you can, you know, load an SSL key on this platform so your administrators can you know, authenticate using HTTPS. But as I mentioned earlier, the platform can generate its own system-generated, self-signed, essentially, digital certificate. And that's what I've configured here. The only issue with the system-generated certificate, of course, is you will get a, a warning message in your browser about, hey, this, this device is using a certificate from a certificate authority that I'm not configured to trust. And so as long as you understand you know, what's going on, it's not going to be an issue for you. So again, I've already enabled JWeb. And again, that's something you're going to have to do on your platform if you want to be able to use this interface. So, so once this configuration has been uh, enabled and you've committed the configuration, now it's time to step back and open up a web browser and browse to the IP address of your SRX platform and access the JWeb interface. Let's do that now. So in this example, I've opened up my web browser. I've browsed to the management IP address of my platform and I'm now presented with a login screen. So as I mentioned earlier, you will use the same username and password that you would use for a console connection or for a secure shell connection, uh, any other. It's the same, you know, authentication credentials. And then you'll 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 submit. You'll you'll say log in, and you'll allow the interface to load. Now I'm accessing this from a, a galaxy far, far away, so it takes a little bit for the JWeb interface to load. And so once you get in here, you'll see on the it drops you immediately when you log into JWeb into configuration mode. And there'll be a little kind of menu that, that's available on the left-hand side. And again, I'm in configuration mode. Um, and, and in configuration mode, I can navigate through the menu to find exactly what component in the in the platform that I would like to configure. But I, it's, it's very functional. There are still some things that aren't available in this interface. Every time the software 
the Geno software is upgraded. There's new functionality and features added into the JWeb interface, but you know, I can configure things such as security policy and NAT and IPsec, you know, VPNs, um, and very advanced security services features, um, networking, routing, interfaces. So for administrators, it's a very functional interface. And what you'll need to do that, you know, this learning bite, the idea of this is how do I enable it in the configuration and then how do I access it? Once you get in here, you're going to have to kind of navigate through here. If you're familiar with the Juno CLI, it's, it's, it, it should be fairly easy for you to kind of figure out where to go to do particular things. And there's also a monitor mode. So if I select monitor, it's essentially going from configuration mode on a on the platform into operational mode. And so this is where I would do, you know, monitoring of the individual, you know, components, the security services, the interfaces, the whatever you have configured in configuration mode. There's a dashboard that'll give you real-time status information about the, the condition of the platform. There's some built-in reporting, and there's actually an administration section where you can perform maintenance functions on the platform, software upgrades and administrator management features. So that's a just a brief overview of how uh, what the JWeb interface is. It's a, it's a web-based interface that will allow you to manage your SRX, how to can enable JWeb uh, through the configuration and also how to access it in, in your web browser. In this learning by we demonstrated how to enable JWeb access on an SRX platform. Thank you very much. Visit the Juniper Education Services website to learn more about courses. View our full range of classroom, online, and e-learning courses. Learning paths, industry segment and technology specific training paths. Juniper Networks Certification Program, the ultimate demonstration of your competence. And the training community, from forums to social media, join the discussion.